What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel and I came back in today to do a haul if you know how I do. That's my style. I usually come back after a hiatus with a haul. So what did I haul this time? As you can see by the title, I did a MAC Sephora, NARS, and a little bit of Ulta, not much, but I'll throw it in there because everybody wants to know what's going on at Ulta. So let's get started because I've been holding on to this stuff for like literally two to three weeks. Some of them, a lot of them I was waiting for them to come in the mail so I could just do this one video and get it out of the way. You girls out there on YouTube life, y'all know what I mean. Hmm. What y'all think about this hair? I had made myself a basket at Sephora.com and I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go into the store and pick up the stuff that I want and so here is what I got. Now y'all, I'm late to the party on this one so don't judge me, but I did get a beauty blender. No, I have never received a beauty blender or used a real beauty blender. I do buy the fake ones at IMATS, but you know, that's here neither here nor there. Apparently these are legit, so we're going to try them. I stopped by the Becca booth. Okay, so Becca, y'all know I love me some Becca and their highlighters for me in Las Vegas are everything. So I did pick up a their new one because I do. This is the packaging. It's a different kind of packaging for this particular. <sighs> Look how pretty it is. Look at this. Look at this. It comes in a gold compact with the traditional silver Becca. And when you guys see this holy, the holy liciousness, yes, that's a word. This is uh, blushed copper. What? It's time for it. It's time. Take that out. It's time. Y'all, unbelievable. I don't even know if this camera is right for this. It's not doing it. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Y'all can't see what I see. Smashbox. I finally am trying this water primer. And I've heard a lot about this. I don't really use these primers a lot because I feel like they're just water. But it is, trying it in the store, it felt good, it smelled good, and I did notice a difference in the way my makeup looked just by, I was in there for three hours. So, but just walking around, I did notice a little bit of difference. So I said, well, you know, what the heck, I'll go ahead and try it if I don't like it. You know, Sephora is very friendly, return friendly, so I'll just try it back. But this is how it looks. I'm sure that you have seen this several times before. Let me do one of these. Yeah. Um, photo finish primer water silicone free alcohol free awesome oil free and it is a photo finish primer water so you pretty much put it in uh, on before or after I don't know we'll see there's a little tip on there and they want you to put this in the refrigerator so that it would feel really nice and cool and refreshing on your face sounds nice we'll try it. so Lancome has been running YouTube wild about this new foundation so I had to have it so I went ahead and picked up the miracle condition the miracle cushion um, liquid foundation that comes in a compact like this I'm sure that you all have seen um, my color in this I believe is the 500 yeah 500 suede I did try on the other color and it was a little light for my tone Considering it's Las Vegas in the summertime, I know I'm going to darken up, so I was like, I'm not going to do that. That would be stupid. I will plan on doing a first impressions review on this stuff. I know that you guys have probably seen enough, but hey, you ain't seen mine, so you ain't seen it all. I went to Clinique, and I got a bunch of stuff from Clinique, and um, I picked up two of their Chunky Pencil Chubby Sticks Intense from Clinique. Uh, this is the packaging. For all of you packaging whores out there. The color I got in this one is Intense. No, hold on. What in the world? Hibiscus? Yeah, it's a pretty orange. Look at that. I did wear this to work one night. This is the only thing I use, I promise, in this whole. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it comes off so thick. It's very opaque. I got one more color in Rumiest Rose. This one, like I said, creamy, very good payoff. I have not used this one. This is the color. Nice. And swatch next to the orange. Oh, God, it's so pretty. This is so pretty. I can't wait about the new Clinique Cheek Pop. So I had to get 
a few of these. I could not leave them in the store. I had technically gotten six of them, um, but yeah, she put some back. It is Peach Pop. You see the trend. She likes her oranges and her golds in the summertime. That's going to show up really nice. I can't wait. And this is Cola Pop. I don't have anything like this in my collection. And it literally does look like a dried up soda with a little bit of mauve in it. That's going to be really nice. Um, just as like an everyday blush. Oh, like with a gray dress or something. Y'all, I don't know how you guys playing now. This is Fig Pop. Fig Pop is a nice neutral. It's kind of coming off orange on the screen. Don't believe that. The, the, the devil is a lie. It is like a copper with a little bit of undertones of orange or nude. Don't believe in that. Uh, Plum Pop was the one that I liked the most. This one has a little bit of purple. It's like a blue base. I can tell. And it's it's like a, it's a pink. But it has a little bit of blue base purple in it too. So I can't wait to use that one. The other color that I was going to get was Pansy Pop. Um, <clears throat> I swatched that one. It is the lilac purple lavender looking one. I didn't like that one on my skin tone. I left it. I felt like it was a little ashy. And they had a bunch of the melted metals. And I did a haul on these when I went to IMAX uh, last year. So these are nothing new. But I did not get any of the metal I have not owned any of these, so I felt like this one was the nicest one I wanted to try. Pretty purple violet tone. Uh, they were giving away these cute little suckers. My Sephora loves me, you guys. They love me. But Too Faced gave away um, some pucker up suckers. And this time I wanted to have my little daughter with me on my three year old. So they gave me two. I thought that was so cute. Oh, I bought a foundation, Nards. Um, I need to do a video on that because that I live for. I'm wearing it now. It is a Nards Luminous uh, Everyday Foundation. You guys know how that has been a hype, the real, and it really is legit. I've always loved Nards. This is my favorite blush product. But I did buy two of those on, on this Sephora trip because I need a backup of my backup. That's my summer foundation. I'm in New Guinea and um, <clears throat> that one's just awesome. So I'm like, I'm, I'm rouge now, right? And she's like, uh, no, you're like $9 away. I was like, girl, get your life. Boop, go and buy this. So this is a Sephora lip or eye, what is this? I think the yeah, it's an eye cold pencil. It's like a deep purple, almost like brown. It's not a good payoff, but whatever. It was $10. So needless to say, she got VIB Rouge. So as you know, what comes with that is your Welcome to VIB Rouge packet. And it does include a new um, Beauty Insider card and the, hold up, the Marc Jacobs uh, Rouge Lipstick, which yes, it's upside down. Don't judge me. And so yeah, let's move on. So I went to MAC. I did... Um, a little trip to Mac. I live in Las Vegas. The one I went to was in Town Square. And I do have a Mac Pro card. So it is hard for me to control myself when I am in that store. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Let's talk about what I got. So, a, looks like I picked up a... Honestly, I feel like I'm shopping through this stuff. Because it's been so long that I don't even remember what I got. Uh, this is a Global Glow. It's a mineralized skin finish. MSF. And global glow this one I told her I was looking for a new highlighter a summer highlighter to um, go with this wonderful weather that we have here in Las Vegas and this is what I got global glow it's like a um, gosh at first when I saw it I thought it was going to be ashifying my face but it doesn't it's quite beautiful um, you'll see me in that quite a bit because I want to try and explore some new highlighting techniques <laughs> she's growing up and then I also got Sun Power. This is an also an um uh, no yeah a mineralized skin finish, a natural one. This one I'm going to be using as a bronzer. I do not own any any bronzers. Okay, I have blushes or contour products that I use as bronzers, but this is a real bronzer. 
It's real, yeah. So it's really pretty, deep copperish kind of a. She put it on my face in the store and like I lit up and I was glowing like a light bulb in the store and like the little people, in, the little, little Asian ladies that was in that shop and they was like, oh my gosh, she's so beautiful, can I buy it? Uh, there was this brush that I had been eyeballing from MAC. This is the 128. Every time I go to the MAC Pro store at Town Square, they are always out. Um, today, they were not. This is the dual sided, dual fiber brush. One is natural fibers, the other is synthetic fibers. And I think it's awesome. Uh, my best friend had gone with me once to MAC to get her face matched for some new uh, foundation for the summer. And she put it on with this. And I just thought, it was like, oh, 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 oh. I got a, a couple of the new ones from the new release. I got Whirl. Whirl is a permanent color. But this I did see in a video of one of my girls that I watch very often. How pretty is that, you guys? Oh, should watch a room. Ooh, look at that. Next, I also picked up an NW40 Pro Long Concealer. This is my everyday, when I'm not trying to highlight under my eye, I do use the NW40. I am an NC50 for anyone who wants to reference my color at MAC whenever I buy foundation. Men love mystery. Like when I got this, you guys, I was just like, okay, the name is legit. So the color has to be. And it is, it is a mauve color tone of a purple. So it, this is a Pro Long Wear Lip Gloss that I picked up in infinitely likable whatever and then this one is a pro long wear lip glass in persistent peach that sounds interesting i don't remember buying these sorry there are a few other things that i wanted from mac that i could not get because they were sold out in the store so i did place an order and um they came to my house like in three days so <clears throat> I was trying to try out their new uh, foundation, which is the Pro Long Wear Nourishing Waterproof Long Wear Boop to Boop, yada yada yada. I heard all about it. Um, I did purchase them in two different colors because I plan to use as a highlight and as a foundation at the same time, um, just because I feel like it's going to work out better for me. So like I said before, I am an NC50 and this is an NW35 to go under my eyes. Again, NW works really, really well under my eyes only. NW on my skin. So I look forward to doing a first impression video on these and see how she, what, tell me why I got an email like two hours later talking about, hey, we just released the Pro, the Fix Plus. So I had to do it. So I got another order, it came the same day. Now there were five that came out, okay? So there was a citrus one that has some kind of Asian name, I can't tell you. There was the coconut, there was the cucumber, there was the rose, and then the regular Fix Plus. So I got, put all five of them in my basket because they are a limited edition. And like I said, with the Pro Long Wear discount of 40%, sometimes you can't help yourself. But I couldn't justify it, I really couldn't. I'm like, they're all the same product. They just smell different, so I didn't buy them all. I did end up getting the cucumber. This is how it looks, same packaging, but of course it's just, uh, um, just follow me. Ooh, that's the cucumber one. I love cucumber scents, like especially for bath products and stuff like that. Mm. Okay, next, this one is the rose. Now, if you guys are true MAC fans, you remember they used to have a, a Studio Fix Plus rose scent like five, six, maybe seven years ago, even 10, way back in the first days of my MAC experience, like eight years ago, they used to have this and it was the rose scent and it was only two fragrances. It was a rose and it was a Fix Plus. Well, they discontinued the rose and it's been discontinued for like eight years. So now it's back and I was excited. So I had to get the rose. I don't know. And I went ahead and got coconuts. Coconut is always my weakness in almost anything. This is how the coconut looks. It looks like the regular Studio Fix Plus bottle. However, it does have like a yellow tint that you really are not picking up on the camera. And this one smells amazing too. So like I said, out of the four different fragrances, the fifth including the regular 
I can only justify three because they are the literally the same product. So I felt like if I had ordered them all, I'd just be um, redundant in it and just being naughty. Now, I have not opened this package from NARS. Um, so let's see what the heck is in here. I was watching my girl that I love to watch, Me Love Makeup 1983. Go ahead and check out her channel. She's awesome. That girl will be buying everything, okay? But anyway, she owns a lipstick that I just fell in love with, and it's by NARS. It's their new Audacious Lip product. This one is Dominique, and Dominique is not sold at Sephora, so I had to order it. Y'all look at that. How beautiful is that? Oh, I can't even describe. I cannot describe this color. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I can't help you. Look at that. I cannot help you. This is the NARS Pro Prime Light Optimizing Primer. I ordered this as well. As you guys know, I'm very oily and I love to try different primers just to see what may work well for me. This is the packaging that it comes in and it is. It fooled me because I thought, which is not a bad thing, that it was going to be silicone kind of primer that you expect. It, it, it lied, it fooled me. It is a cream primer and it actually feels pretty good. Um, I did swatch this already. It doesn't change colors. It stays, you know, the iridescent kind of matte finish with no color so I like that um, but yeah I look forward to trying that and seeing how that goes in 112 degrees that it was today this is a lip gloss that I ordered from them on a whim I did not plan to order this all I wanted was Dominique but you y'all know how that go um, this color is I don't even remember risky business how pretty it is. Well, that needs to be mixed. Y'all don't, that was a lie. Dope foot applicator. And I, I like the way that it feels on my lips. It doesn't feel like that matte Pro Longwear stuff that I got in there that I don't even know how I feel on. Uh, Ulta, and I'll get up out of here. So I did go to Ulta, I got another Real Technic Techniques brush, but this is the brush that I got. Uh, Murad's um, Lightning Spot Treatment big bottle of this is like $75 this is a smaller bottle um, as maybe two it's maybe one third the size and it was $15 and I had to buy it and you guys it really does work this stuff is very good I'll try to do a review on it I also finally finally I know I'm late again but I finally did pick up some of the intense lippies from NYX and NYX is one of my first loves since I started this YouTube thing I started building my collection with NYX so one love to NYX always down for your products um, the first color I want to show you is spice cake this one's gonna be a nice payoff look at how it's gonna look on my skin I also got toasted marshmallow which is everybody's fave it's awesome and currently I am wearing Napoleon Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm wearing Napoleon and it is lined with a brown liner from MAC. I, while I was at Sephora, let me go back. Okay, I was looking for my that Kat Von D that Mika Meeks is always wearing. And I get upset with her when she wears it because I don't own it. Lolita, what Mika, what? Got my own. Word the other day, this lady stopped me in the store and was like, excuse me, okay, what is this situation on your lips? So I thought I had some crumbs or some food or something. I'm like, what what I do? She's like, the color, I gotta know, I gotta know. I was like, honey, if you get your hands on another one, let me know. Look how pretty. Oh, gosh, I don't want to waste it because apparently we can't keep her in stock, so... That's enough swatching of low leader. So, anyway, I gotta get out of here. I think that was everything. Yes. So, go ahead, check out the rest of my videos. Subscribe, pass me my lip gloss. I hope I answered all of your questions. If I did not leave a question from you below, I am out of here. Deuces, keep in touch. See you on Instagram.